Welcome to the Microprocessor and Microcontroller Lecture Series. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the what are the addressing modes are used in this 8086 microprocessor. First, we are going to see what is meant by addressing mode. In the 8086 microprocessor, every instruction of your program has to operate on your data. Clear? Every instruction of your program to operate on your data. This method of specifying the data to be operated by the instruction is called as the addressing. Simply it says that the manner in which operand is given in the instruction. I will give some example here. In this example, I will take a move BL, CL. Here this move is an instruction. This move is an instruction we are used here. This is an instruction. Here BL, CL is a register. In this register, we have the some data. In this register, we have the some data. This is called as the operand. This is called as the operand. How to represent the operand? This is a different ways to represent the operand. This is called as the addressing mode. This is called as the addressing mode. How to represent the operand in an instruction? This is called as the addressing mode. In this operand, that is a BL, CL. In a right hand side is always it is a source registers. It is always is a source register. In left hand side is always a designation register. One more example I will take here. This is add B is comma the square bracket of A X square bracket of A X. Here this B X is the designation register designation register. But this square bracket is indicate the memory. This square bracket is indicate the memory. This memory address to be present inside the AX register. This memory address is present inside the AX register. This is the some example. Now we are going to discuss clearly what are the types of addressing modes are available in this 8086 microprocessor. This is the 8086 microprocessor addressing mode. Here we are grouped into the six ways. The first one is a register addressing, immediate addressing, memory addressing mode. Comes under the memory addressing mode. This is a direct addressing, register indirect addressing, based and index addressing, base index addressing, relative addressing. Next one is a string addressing mode. The next one is a input and output addressing mode. This is the direct input output port addressing, indirect input output port addressing. And the final one is a implied addressing mode. This is, these are the types of addressing mode we are going to discuss one by one in upcoming slides. Okay, first we are going to discuss. Register addressing mode. What is mean by register addressing mode? The instruction will be specifying the name of the register which holds the data to be operated by the instruction. Here, in the instruction contain the register name. The register name in the sense it is a general purpose register. It is a general purpose register. The general purpose register already are discussing in this architecture diagram. That's why not uh, discuss in more detail here. This is the instruction. Okay. The instruction is contained the register. Here we are going to consider that we are going to take the only example here. Move. This is move is the instruction. CL comma DR is the register. That's why this is called as the register addressing mode. Here register is directly specified in this instruction. Here this DH is the source and CL is a designation. Here CL and DH is the 8 bit register. Here we are using here. Next one is a move BX comma DX. Here DX is a 16 bit register. This 16 bit register's value is move into the BX. The BX is also a 16 bit register because of the DX is a source register and BX is a designation register. Okay. Here the register is directly specified in the instruction. That's why it is called as the register addressing mode. Next one is the immediate addressing mode. Here 8 bit or 16 bit data is specified as part of the instruction. Here the direct data, okay, the direct data to be directly mentioned in this instruction. For example, here move is the instruction. DL is the register. Here 0, 8 is the data. Here 0, 8 is directly move into the DL register because of it is a 8 bit value. That's why it is directly move into the DL register. Here in the, in this immediate addressing mode, the instruction is contained direct data, direct 
data. That's why it's called as the immediate addressing mode. As like that, this is a 16-bit data. 16-bit data is directly moved into the AX register. This is the immediate addressing mode. Next, we are going to see about the direct addressing mode. In the unsigned 16-bit displacement or 8-bit displacement will be specific in the instruction. The displacement is the effective addressing. Okay, whenever you are using, wherever you are using square bracket, this inside the square bracket is containing the memory uh, memory address. This address is called as the effective address. This is, uh, address is called as the effective address. First, we are going to see some example here. First, move dx. dx is a register. Inside the square bracket, here this is the 8-bit address are there. This is a signed 8-bit address is there. First, we are going to extend this value into 16B. That's why this 0, 8 is extended. In Before that, we are putting the 2, 0. This is the effective address. This is the effective address. This is the effective address. Next, we are going to find the base address. The base address, how to find the base address? Already, I told that this base address depends upon the data segment plus 10 into 16. This is the data segment value play into 10 into 60 because of the every address it has the 20 bit value that's why it's converted into 20 bit that's why we are going to multiply this equation this is a multiplication we are going to multiply this equation into 10 power 16 okay this finally we are going to find the memory address is, uh, is equal to effective address plus base address effective address plus base base address okay now which data to be moved to dx register okay we are going to find the memory address here. This memory address has the some values. This values, this MA value is moved to the DL and MA plus value is moved to the DH value. Okay, MA value is moved to the DL and MA plus value is moved to the DH value. This is the direct addressing mode. It is direct addressing mode, the square inside the square bracket. Direct address is given in this instruction. Okay, direct address is given in this instruction. This instruction this address is called the effective address by using this effective address we are going to calculate the memory address okay how to calculate the memory address memory address is equal to effective address plus base address base address is equal to data segment value into 10 power 16 10 power 16 as like that we are going to find the 16 bit value the 16 bit value no extension is needed that's why 0A9F is the effective address. Next, we are going to find the base address. This is equal to into data segment into 10 power 16. This is the memory address value. In this memory address contain the data. This data is moved from AL and AH like that. Okay. Next, register indirect addressing mode. In this register indirect addressing mode, in the square bracket, we are mentioning the register. AX register, BX register, CX register, and DX register, some registers value. Inside the register, it has some value. This value is the effective address. This value is the effective address. Clear? Inside the register, it has some value. For example, this AX register, this AX register is contained in the value of A, B, and 1, 3. This is a hexadecimal representation. AB13 is the effective address. It is present in this AX register. It is present in this AX register. Instead of AB plus 13H, we are rewrite this equation as like that AX or BX or BX. Okay. This is the register indirect addressing mode. This is the A register indirect addressing mode. Okay. Clear. This register indirect addressing mode directly access the memory address in this memory address has some value this value is moved from uh, memory values move from ma ma values move from cl ma plus value move from ch like that we are going to perform next example is the move ax comma xi si is the source index so si is the source index the source index is has a 16 bit address source index is has a 16 bit address this address is called as the effective address this address is called as the effective address based on this one we are going to find the memory address based on this we are going to find the memory address next one base addressing mode this one is a base addressing mode in this base addressing mode the bx or bp base pointer register is used to hold base value of effective address 
and the sign 8 bit or unsigned 16 bit displacement is the instruction here we are going to store okay here we are going to store register value plus 8 bit or 16 bit displacement in the instruction this displacement is added to the base value bx or bp to be obtained the effective address how to obtain the effective address inside the square bracket this is called as the effective address here this is a bf whenever in the square bracket this is a two digit value is converted into the four digit value because of the 16 bit because of the 16 bit okay this is the effective address finally we are going to find the memory address by using this formula by using this formula okay finally the particular memory address is contained the data this data to move into the ax register this data is moved into the ax register finally uh, next one is the next one is the index addressing mode here this source index or data index register used to hold the index value of memory data and the sign 8 bit or unsigned 16 bit displacement in this instruction this displacement is added to the base value in si or di to obtain the effective address why it is called as the index addressing mode this index register is sold to index value of memory data. Okay, clear. Here, how to find the effective address? Here, SI plus 0A2H. 12 bit only is there. That's why it is extended into FFFA2H. This is the source index. Source index value is finding the effective address. Effective address is equal to source index plus FFA2H. Okay, this is the effective address. Finally, we are going to find the base address. Base address is equal to data sigma into 10 of hexadecimal value okay finally we are getting the memory address value memory address is equal to ea plus bea in this memory address it has some data this data is moved into the cx register in this example this memory data is moved into the cx register next is one is base index addressing mode okay here this base the register value and index value is also present in this memory addressing calculation for example, the effective address is equal to BX. BX is a register value and SI is a source index value and 000A is the extended displacement value. Extended displacement value. By using this equation, we are going to find the effective address. But then finally, we are going to find the effective address is equal to EA plus MBA. BA is a base address. Base address is calculated by using this formula. Finally, we are going to the memory address. This memory address is contained in some data. This data is moved into the DX register in this example. Okay. Next one is the string addressing mode. This addressing mode is employed in string instruction to operate on a string data. The effective address of the source data is stored in a source index register. And the effective address of the designation data stored in the designation index register clearly the effective address of the source data the effective address of the source data is stored in a si register okay effective address of the designation data stored in the si register first we are going to find this is the this is the moves is the instruction here is a addressing mode this is a string addressing mode first we are going to find the memory address of the source data this memory address of the source data by using the source index value the effective address value to be stored in the source index value is that's why ea is equal to si then we are going to find the base address value this base address is equal to ds into 10 base of 16 then finally we are going to find the ma is equal to ea plus ba this is the source memory address source memory address next we are going to find the memory address of the designation memory address of the designation by using the designation in tax and this formula by are you converting by using finally we are finding the memory address of the designation memory address of the designation here this ma value this is ma is the source memory address here ma e is the designation memory address this source memory address contain the data this data is moved into the this data is moved into the designation memory this data is moved into the designation memory if the direction flag value is equal to 1, the source index value and designation index value is decrement by 1. And the direction flag value is equal to 0, the source index and designation index value increment by 1. Okay, clear. Next one. This is the direct input output addressing. Here, this is the input. This is the instruction. Okay, here this is the register value. Here, this is the 0, 9H. 
this is the port address this is the input port address this input port value that move into the eal regions for example this is input side this input side it has some value for example we are going to consider the 23 is the data this data is move into the 09 h port this port value is moved to the AL register. This port value is moved to the AL register. This port value is moved to the this port value is moved to the AL register. This port value is moved to the AL register. Here this value becomes 23H. Okay, clear. Next. This is the indirect input output port addressing. Here this N number we are saying indirect means here this register is contained the output port value the register is containing the output address value the register is containing the output address value that's why this output is square back inside is square by dx value is equal comma ax inside the square bracket the address of the port is mentioned the register the content of a is moved to the port whose address is specified by the dx register this the dx register is contained this dx register is contained the address of the address of the output port address of the output port okay this is the indirect input output port addressing relative addressing mode in this addressing mode the effective address of the program instruction is specified relative to the instruction pointer by an 8 bit sign displacement okay clear relative addressing mode we are going to take the example of j is a is a j is a is a instruction 0 a h is the addressing mode here, first we are going to change is the 8 bit can be displacement into 16 bit. 8 bit can be displacement into 16 bit. Next, if the 0 flag, why we are going to 0 flag? It jumps 0. The 0 flag value becomes 1, then the instruction pointer value is equal to IP plus 000 x ah. This is the one. Next, we are going to find the effective address is equal to. This is the this is the effective address. This is the effective address. Next, we are going to find the base address. Okay, here this base address we are going to consider the code segment because of the this is the code. No data can be present here. This is a code is the major role. That's why we are going to take the code segment into 10 h. The memory address is equal to base address plus effective address. If the 0 flag is 1, the program control jump to new code address as calculated above. If the 0 flag is 0, the next instruction of the program is executed. Based on the 0 value, 0 flag value, the instruction can be performed. The instruction can be performed. Clear? Implied addressing mode. The instruction itself, the data to be operated. For example, if you are mentioning the CLC means, the carry flag value is equal to 0. The execution of this instruction will clear the clarity flag value is equal to zero. This is the implied addressing mode. Thank you. Mm -hmm.